Community health worker John Maro says he used to rely on a flashlight when working nights at the Sabungida Primary Health Center in Nigeria's Nasero State. But that was before a solar grid arrived in his community. And if there's any case that come in the night, we suffer it, we use this torchlight in order to treat our cases. And uh, for labor cases, it was. We use torchlight. It's not easy. In Sabo Ngida, a farming community an hour from the state capital of Lafia, community leader Dauda Yakubu says the new solar power grid is making his life easier. There has been progress and development in the field of welding, pumping fuel at the filling station, and likes as well as grinding, water purification, and refrigeration. Entrepreneur Suleiman Dauda says the community is enjoying the added ease and other benefits of the solar grid. Before solar was brought to us, we didn't have light. We only generated light from the generator. But even at that, the generator gave us a lot of challenges. The first interconnected solar power grid was installed in collaboration with PowerGen, a renewable energy company in Africa that aims to close electricity gaps in rural areas. Omobolanli Atobatele, the head of stakeholder engagement at Husk Power Systems, says in many cases the solar companies can work with more traditional energy companies to keep the lights on. The regulation also allows us to go into areas where the distribution companies have their franchise area, but they are presently underserving them with electricity with less than eight hours. And so we can partner with them to provide mini grids to buffer up the supply they're presently giving so that at least you can have minimum 20 to 23 hours. It's a great start, but a big job lies ahead. According to the World Bank, about 45% of Nigeria's population lack access to the electricity grid. For Gibson, America and Abuja, Nigeria, Grace Oyenubi, VOA News.